Hello guys, if I are here, I'll be doing a hermit and <laughs> I'll be doing a hermit gameplay commentary. And the ability of hermit is to spawn at 300, 300, well, pretty close to it anyway. And I located a desert temple right before I picked hermit. I thought it would be the perfect uh, opportunity to get a hermit gameplay. So I, fi I find this desert temple with uh, five diamonds and quite a bit of gold ingots and some bones. I can use the bones later to uh, grow some plants if I want to. Here I grab all the TNT because I have no blocks to tower out. I should have grabbed some dirt before I went here. And those two people are now very depressed probably because I've already stolen all the diamonds. Now I've made a crafting bench but that guy broke it and I'm, I'm pretty mad at him so I'm going to kill him no matter what it takes. And he turns around and hits me a couple times but diamond sword you can't you can't do anything unarmed against that it's just impossible he should have just kept running bad decisions okay now I have a gold leggings as well and a spare diamond sword just in case of a monk I was pretty fortunate to get that many diamonds in the temple usually you don't get enough to make a sword sometimes even I'm just collecting cactus cuz cactus stew is it's the quenchiest. And I return to the desert temple. There's someone in there. So I just stealth and drop down. Go behind him and you cannot leave. Chase after this other guy who's running for his life. And then this guy with the... He has some iron armor there. I think he found a NPC village or something of the sort. Now I just fast forwarded that bit. Because... It was a long and boring journey to the jungle. Oh, there's, some, there's a guy over here who has... I think he found a desert temple as well. So this is probably going to be the hardest fight for me this game. Get someone with a diamond sword. And I accidentally dropped a suit, of course. I always do that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to drop soups if you switch back to your sword too quickly while you're quick dropping. It's something I have to work on, but it really does help if you just leave it for another split second before you switch back to your sword. Now there's a, I think it's a stream team or some other type of huge organized team here. I just jump in with the flint and steel because flint and steel is the best team killing tool, I think. <laughs> Lost sight of him there. It was pretty bad on my part. Boom, one shot. I don't know why he wasn't running. You can't run. You can't leave. And you're dead. Now, I was trying to track the next person, but then there was a tower team, so I really didn't want to waste time going up there. So I just went far away and tracked the next person, which was over here. It's pretty close to the force field. I was scared that I might run into it again. I always die from the force field. It's terrible. <laughs> I think this person recognized me because he just said to kill me, which I did. And it looks like he might be a stomper, ender mage, here. <laughs> Trying to pull a lava bucket on me. I think lava buckets are very easily countered if you have a water bucket. Cause you can completely destroy the lava, just turn it into obsidian. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I think it's just hilarious. Now, there was a glitch player there. I tried to light him on fire to see if it would work. And now I'm heading to the feast, and there is a huge bridge. And I think multiple stompers up there, so I'm trying to be careful, shift around a lot. Now, I sighted this guy here. He's running, chasing this other guy. And he pillars up. So while he's looking up, I just go behind, and I kind of miss with the flint, but I still get a lot of hits off on him. It's like, I think, eight hits in a row now. It's crazy. Not sure how he's surviving so long. It's probably just a lot of soup, though. And I kill him right there. And I can take his iron helmet, because gold helmet will break eventually. I don't want to put up with that. 
And here's someone else who was headed to the feast, chasing someone. And I light him on fire, and light myself on fire too, because I'm just that good with flint and steel. He gets a lot of hits off on me. I was kind of messing up there. But he keeps walking into my fire. This guy really enjoys walking into fire, as you can see right there. It's not that hard to just hit the fire once, or sidestep it a bit. But this guy prefers to go right through it, which is which is very good for me. And I kill him there. And he had a he had an egg which I which I tossed, and it didn't make a chicken, unfortunately. To the feast. And I'm pretty scared here. I'm just shifting a lot. I do not want to get killed by a stomp for this game. Stomp. Stomp, stomp, <laughs> triple stomper. That was very uncoordinated, because they should have been holding shift when they hit the ground there, so that the other stomper wouldn't kill them. The most unorganized team I've seen for a while. <laughs> They're trying to challenge me with only iron swords and no armor. Not the best idea when I have a diamond sword. I have so much bread in my inventory. I should have dropped that stack there. See, like, I pull it up. I'm trying to look for projectiles, but I cannot find any. Well, got some arrows there, but still no bow. And I was really bad there. I, I could have died. Well, he wasn't from the optimal height to kill me, but for that one second that I wasn't crouching, he managed to stomp on me. Phantom is relatively balanced, but it's too good at, too good for escaping with, I think. Because, like, it only has a, I think, 30 second cooldown. You can basically escape. If you have, like, two towers next to each other, you can just fly to the other one and then give someone a very hard time. Or just fly around on treetops. One shot that guy. And he is almost fully armored, this one guy here, so I want to take him out as fast as possible. Everyone tries to use lava on me this game. I'm actually pretty thankful a lot of people have tried using lava on me now, because I usually carry around water buckets now. I find it good to put... oh, <laughs> stepping into lava, good job. I think it's good to put the water bucket in your 9 slot, or your 8 slot, depending on if, you, if you're using a flint and steel as well. Now this guy came back here, the, the guy who has, who's almost fully armored, and he hits me with the slowness potion. Don't like getting hit by slowness potions. And he didn't use any of his soup. I don't know why. <laughs> Death to the sheep. It shall not live. Because it's berserker fuel. I'm just shuffling through the items here. I have so many arrows this game. Already like 36 arrows. Oh, 53 arrows. It's just too much. And I see this guy up here trying to... I'm not sure what he's doing. And I shoot him. Pretty good shot. Then I fail there, but I still manage to hit him again, which is pretty good. And then he just walls it off, so I cannot continue shooting arrows. What does the force field do? It kills you quickly. I should know. <laughs> So I do enchant my sword, and I get a sharpness enchant. 
which is pretty fortunate. <laughs> Most of the time I get anthropod, so because I'm just that lucky. Now I see some guy underground here, but then like this guy drops lava right next to me. It's crazy, so I just turn it into obsidian. And then he calls me a hacker, because I didn't light on fire. Or something like that. So I call him dumb, but then I have that weird E, because I hit control and shift on my keyboard, so I quickly fix that. And I tree boost, because tree boosting lets you go very fast. Let's me on fire, but water bucket is always handy. This guy was asking me to team when there's only four players left in the game. Now, I don't know why anyone would ask the team this late in the game. Because I obviously wouldn't want to team this late. Got my protective guardrails again. It's just the safest way to deal with towers. And just fast forwarded because it was boring bridge building. Set it on fire, but there's a lot of dirt. The, f the fire was just to scare them mainly. And to make way for my arrows. I heard in the next update they were going to... Oh geez, lava. In the next update they are going to make it so that if there's like the final two players left and the game's been going on for a while, then they'll be teleported to this arena to fight. I'm not sure if I would like this update or not. I just have to wait and try it myself. But I think it's pretty fun to deal with towers sometimes. Because of the obsidian, I have to make this upper wall here. I don't get knocked off. And the obsidian kind of gives me some security, because if you like, he can't break it, so he can't just break the block I'm standing on and I'll fall. Spam spamming your small house with arrows. One of them's unarmored too, so that arrow must have done a lot of damage. Now, when you get close enough to a tower, you just place blocks and then make a nice connection. I place water there, right before he hits me, so I can safely go out there and fall into the water if I need to. Knock him off, but he's a stomper and he survives, but I kill his teammate, who was a cultivator. Now, I didn't see that guy pillaring up, and then I tried to shoot him, but you can't move very fast while you're holding a bow in the water. So there, I swim up. Now I shoot him off, and he dies. So I jump down, and I'm trying to find the stomper now. So I switch my compass. Yep. His name is Trap Call, and here he is, and he has an arrow stuck in his head. And I turn his lava into obsidian, because lava sucks, and water is so much better. I generally like to take the defensive version of everything in this game. That's why I take a water bucket. Just wanted to use my bow just for, just for fun. And I kill him right there, and I take the win. That was Hermit, and I got 22 kills. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.